Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to achieve the black Paris look to go from this to this picture, which is this black and white look with the orange accents in them. It's really beautiful, very trendy. Please watch the full video because these are multiple adjustment layers who build on each other. I will explain to you what each of these adjustment layers does. Also, you can see the next chapter of my Thailand travel adventure. Check that out. Let's get started with this tutorial. Okay, so we'll delete all these layers. So we start fresh and you can see here we have our picture. Now, this is a little bit on the bright side, but even if it's not the first step, you can use generally to make pictures pop. It's really easy. Right click on the picture layer and duplicate it like so, and then simply set this to soft light. And you can see that this will fix a lot of issues with the picture, make it a little bit more saturated, give it more contrast, make it overall look better. The next step is already to take out all of the colors other than the orange and red values. So for this, we are going to use an adjustment layer for HSL. And you can see we have here all these color dots. So click on each of them and just pull down the saturation to minus 100%. So this takes out all of these colors other than the two dots that are uh, yellow and red. Now, this depends on the picture if you need to also reduce them or change anything about them. For example, you can also set the saturation a little bit higher for them to make the orange more intense. So I do this on both of these parts here. OK, so you can see this already got us a lot of the way there, but we are not finished yet. So please keep watching the next step is going to be that we are going to use an adjustment layer for brightness and contrast. The important thing here is the reason why we use it is we want the dark areas to be darker. So we reduce the brightness. You can see how this reduces the black areas in our picture. But at the same time, what we want to do is to push up the contrast. You can see again, that the darker areas, the blacks get darker, but at the same time, we get this nice sharp contrast in our textures. And this is really where this effect shines, where Black Paris is really useful, is these technical structures in here where you get these really nice sci-fi looking tech surfaces, tech patterns in there because of that. Um, the important thing here also is that you play around with the values because this very much depends on the picture you are using. OK, the next step is going to be that we are using an adjustment layer for curves. And in this case, why we are doing this is to adjust again the black values and the brighter values, but this time in a rounder, softer way. So click down here where you have you see you have all these lines crossing. So click on this where these two lines cross down here and pull this a little bit to the lower right side like so you can see again the values get a little bit darker and then we do the same where these two lines cross up here and pull this in a little bit and what this does is that also in the brighter areas everything gets a little bit darker and everything gets this kind of smooth round um, gray value rather than a harsh white value because we want this to be a little bit softer from the look. OK, again, play around with the values to set this up to your taste. That is really important. OK, the next adjustment we are going to use is addressing our orange spots. And here is, by the way, an important advice. Select pictures where you have a little bit of orange in them, but not too much orange. You don't want the orange to be overwhelming. Make it the eye candy, the rare spots that have a bit of color in it, because then this technique, this look is a lot more effective than when you have a lot of orange in there. OK, so use the adjustment layer for vibrance in this case, and you want to use mainly vibrance, not so much saturation. So push up the vibrance. You can see this makes the orange values a lot more intense. Also, of course, 
if they are already too intense for your taste you can go in the negative side and weaken them and making them softer this really again depends on what kind of result you want to have there is more than just one look for black paris okay so let's set it up like this that looks already pretty good and with this picture we are basically finished because it doesn't have too many color values in here not too much to adjust but i have selected a second picture for you which is this one and you can see here that we have a lot more colors in here and this is important for a certain reason because i want to show you an additional trick so most of the stuff you're going to do the same as you can see here i've already set up all these layers but there are two interesting differences here so one is this black and white adjustment here and the way i'm using that is that i have set up the picture like this as you can see here without the black and white adjustment so far and this means i have reduced all of the colors down to this look where everything is black and white and then we have these red and orange values in there this is important when we go to the channels tab down here and you can see now we have our channels that the picture is made of on our screen so we have red green blue and also an alpha channel so you want to click on the red channel this turns it into black and white but this is only the red channel now and now right click on that and select load pixel selection this is important because this makes a selection takes a little bit to calculate of only the areas in the picture that have orange or red values in them right because this is that kind of channel and now that we have created this kind of selection you want to go to adjustment and select the black and white adjustment because then this is automatically creating a mask in here that only selects these areas right okay so after we have done this you can click over here to this rounded arrow here in the corner and this will just set it back so you have all the colors again on your keyboard press ctrl d to deselect your selection and this kind of looks like before but here is the big difference now i have these adjustments here that tell me the brightness it will have in a black and white picture depending on the color of the original picture now here's also an important part i have set this up in a way where the black and white adjustment layer is between the original picture and my hsl adjustment right so i'm influencing the original colors before they get reduced by the hsl adjustment and here is why i'm doing this you can see here when i move these levers around i can brighten up or darken down different areas of the picture and this can be very very helpful in this technique to make the picture more readable and also to give me a stronger effect for example you can see here when you look at this face area here when i pull this down i can make these areas here a lot darker also everything where i have this kind of violet in there for example here these cactus fruits this blossom over here this will also get darker so this is really nice to help you to adjust all the different values separately and you can see here i can do a lot of things with that so there's a very nice technique and this is uh, you can see here how this works but it's also very effective in other parts for example pictures where you have a room or other elements like nature photos where you have a lot of different colors in them also cityscapes might be interesting with a lot of different colors you can see i can really influence the look of the picture and define it based on the color good another thing that i'm doing here in this case is that i'm on top of what i've shown you already i'm using an adjustment for shadows and highlights you can see this here and this let's reset this this gives me the ability to independently adjust the highlights which means the brighter parts of the picture and the shadows the darker parts of the picture to make the highlights more intense and to bring the shadows additionally down you can see this also creates a sort of contrast in your picture 
also can make the effect more intense and make the picture more readable so it is easier to see what is going on and and a very important part of this black paris look is that the black parts the dark parts feel nice deep saturated a little bit of this kind of graphite look and then you have in contrast these glowing orange colors so really look for the dark parts and look that you create nice dark gray values with this kind of graphite touch graphite look in them okay this is the tutorial for today i hope you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe to my channel see you in my next tutorial thank you very much bye